And we welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed rate field. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Houston Astros going up against the Chicago White Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Here on the south side, now here is Jose Altuve. The wind of the pitch. So now one and two. Well, you know this guy wants a pitch off, something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall. But you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. pitch stays alive righty to the plate pitch three misses two. there and it's three and two turned on but foul wide of third three two on the way Line drive, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's into second with nobody out. Just one of those at-bats you almost hate to see come to an end. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And that chance handled. One out in the top of the first. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now it's Alex Bregman. Kicks and deals. And one and two. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Next offering is fouled back. Fought off foul. The one two. Chases the change up in the dirt. And it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk. Now, you're Don Alvarez. Big time power. Next offering upstairs. And the righty deals. And downstairs. Three balls, one strike. Swing and a ball popped up. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Bottom of the first. Here's Tim Anderson. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, and a count one and two. And the one two misses to even the count. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone, bottom half of the first. Luis Robert now. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Jose Abreu up to hit. Next pitch is outside. And he walked him. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because... You still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Not even close there. 
And the count's even at two. Kicks and fires. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some swings and blasts one deep to left center. And out of here. Aloy Jimenez leaves the yard. And it gives him the lead in the first. It's 3-0. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. The 1-1. That one to first, and it gets by him. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Back here on the south side, and here's the first baseman, Yuli Gurriel. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. And Guriel is out. Here's Kyle Tucker. That is it. The right fielder, number 30. Kyle Tucker. The 2 1. Lynn, he gets a lot of swing and miss, and he keeps the ball in the yard. Not to mention the fact, not too many hits either. Thank you, and that's ball four. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. So, man aboard. So, next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. And a pitch. Even some of the best guys in the sport are going to give up home runs from time to time. And he's an exception. Yeah, and even with those home runs, if you're throwing strikes and keeping base runners off the paths, then those home runs are solo shots. But to this point, he hasn't had to worry about it. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. You look at what the elite guys do. They strike guys out, they limit walks, and they limit the ball going out of the park. Checks over to first, back safely. And down on strikes. And that is that. Bottom half of inning number two. A.J. Pollock at the dish. Yeah, all you want is a guy like that. Take the ball every fifth day. Go out there. Hand it over to the bullpen, perhaps in the seventh inning or later. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. And here is Gavin Sheets. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball there. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And up next for Chicago, Josh Harrison. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's the third out, inning over. Back here at the ballpark, onto the third inning, and here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. Swings and misses, and the count one and two. And that one fouled off. And he grounds one to the right side. To first, leadoff hitter gone in the third. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Led this game off with a double, but they weren't able to drive him in. Next pitch way upstairs. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at-bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. And it's even up. And now the count filled up three and two. And 
And the right-hander deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Boo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The next offering misses. And it's 2-1. and one. Left hand batter waits. Fouls one off. Two and two. Altuve stands at first with one out. That one ripped. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As two runs score in the play. One out, runner at second. Next is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Two two now, and a foul ball. He stays alive. Tapped in front of the plate. Over to Abreu, and they get the out on Alvarez. And next to hit for Houston, Yuli Gurriel. Grounded out his first time. In the air, out towards left center. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. at guaranteed rate field bottom of the inning stepping in the White Sox leadoff man Tim Anderson 1-1 one, one now that one is upstairs well after putting up a nice inning on offense got some runs across this is where you look for the starter to go out there have a shutdown inning don't give that other team any hope uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning get the bats back up there while they're hot righty delivers Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now it's Luis Robert. And a count one and two. The wind and the pitch. Stays alive. Next offering upstairs. Tough take right there. He swings at that more often than not. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. Two outs, space is empty. And now, Jose Abreu. Here's a 1-1. Gets him to chase after that one. Well, he looks fresh out there, just... Needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Oh, great stop. Throw to first and very nicely done for the out. Out of the fourth. And now Kyle Tucker. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. On the ground to the left. Slings it across, and Tucker is retired. So up next, Chaz McCormick. His first at bat was a strikeout. And the pitch. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Man at first with one gone. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Going to count one and two. The 
pitch. And a swing and a miss. Two away down. Martin Maldonado up to hit. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Now all even up. Hammer down the right side, but foul. Pitch of the at back coming up. The two two and a foul ball, he stays alive. Two outs right through there, got it down on strikes, and he knew it. Welcome back. Bottom four. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, Yoan Moncada. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And another ball. Here's a 2-1. That one lifted to left. And it jumps the wall in foul territory for an automatic double. Aloy Jimenez now. runner leads away at second now a check swing but he held up he swings and drives one out to deep left field out of here this place is absolutely loving it his second home run of the game it's 5-2 Yasmani Grandal up to hit 3-2 now Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. A.J. Pollock getting ready to hit. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next pitch misses inside. And that's ball three. And there's a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. And he deals. And a pop-up on the left side of the infield. Bregman has this one sized up. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So now it's the White Sox DH. Gavin Sheets. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Here's a 1-1. And that's down and away. Grandal, the base runner at first with one out. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. The pitch. 3-2 now. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. And here it comes. And ball four to a board. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Now it's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. And a payoff pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Stays alive. At the belt and fires, and they're all loaded up. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. New pitcher now, Christian Javier. And he's on to deal with the bases loaded. 
Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Tim Anderson steps to the plate for the White Sox. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Tucker under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags from third. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Stepping in, Jose Altuve. The 1-1. And that one sliced foul. Ripped into right center. Base hit. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. All over that one right there. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Nice grab. Great hops right there, Boog. He timed it just right to bring that liner down, and he saved the knock. Now it's Alex Bregman. Next offering is fouled back. Hit hard. That gets through. Altuve around third. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He scores. And now just a two-run deficit. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's Jordan Alvarez. The 1-1. One -one. Started to swing, held up. Bregman over at first with one away. And he walked him. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Here's Guriel. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Swing at a high fly ball left field. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. So two down now, and here is Kyle Tucker. Kicks and deals. That one inside, and a count two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Digging in, Luis Robert. Swings here and blasts one left field. And that one is gone. Luis Robert hits one out. And they tap on to their lead. It's 6-3. And the batter now, Jose Abreu. Next one just misses. Counts full, 3-2. and two. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. 3-2 now. On the ground, right side. Over to first. Got him. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. So now one and two. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. 
Next offering misses. Two and two. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That ends the frame. New arm out of the bullpen, Ronaldo Lopez. And he'll work on holding this lead. Number 40, Ronaldo Lopez. Back here on the south side. And now here is Chaz McCormick. And the pitch. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Got him. One out. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jeremy Pena. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. And the righty deals. That's in there. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Moncada makes the play, and there are two down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's the 2-2. That one missing inside. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. And the Astros put down in order. Here on the south side, bottom of the sixth inning. And now it's going to be Yasmani Grandal. Next one misses. And a full count now. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Now it's the right fielder, A.J. Pollock. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Brantley makes the play. Two up, two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. The why to kick the pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. Left-hand hitter waits. That one missed. The 3-1. Swings through that one out in front that time. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. That one is absolutely belted. Banks off the wall. Throws to second. And he's got a double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. So up next for Chicago, Josh Harrison. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Sheets around third. The throw into second. And it's second, no play. A run comes in on the play. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And the batter now, Tim Anderson. Guriel takes it himself, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Back at guaranteed rate field. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve.
Next offering down in the dirt. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one off the mark. Three and two now. Right-handed reliever. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Michael Brantley stands in. Left-hand batter waits. This one popped up. Anderson moving under it. One away. Man at first. Here's the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Hit on the ground might be two. The throw to second is offline. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Next pitch is downstairs. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. Jordan Alvarez blasts one out. And they get a few back. It's 7-6. White Sox going with a new arm. Kendall Graveman. He's into the game with the bases empty. Kendall Graveman. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. The tying run at the plate. That's off the mark. And yeah, that's ball two. Popped up left side. Anderson under it. And there's two down. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Out there to center. Robert makes the catch, and that'll do it. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Bill Maton. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Luis Robert. The pitch. Into center. McCormick under it. Hauls it in for the out. Jose Abreu steps to the plate for the White Sox. The first baseman, Jose. Up for you. Righty delivers. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Here's a 1-2. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. McCormick makes the grab. And there's two away. And now Yohan Moncada. Third baseman, Yohan Moncada. Bounced up the middle. 
in time to Guriel. Inning over. We go to the eighth. And stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. The 2-1. That one pushed foul. Ground ball to Brayu. Takes it himself. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Kyle Crick. Gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. So next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Grandal makes the catch. And there's two away. Martin Maldonado digs in now. The 1-1. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Oh, here we go. Pedro Baez. The human rain delay. He's sped up this year, though. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Back here at the ballpark, now the left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. Here comes a pitch. That one outside, and a count two and one. And that's downstairs and outside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. Out towards right center field. Tucker in position. Makes the grab one down. And now, Yasmani Grandal. And he deals. And another ball. That one ripped left field. Back there. That one is gone. A shot to the opposite field. And they tack one on the board. It's 8-6. A.J. Pollock steps to the plate for the White Sox. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And they take care of Pollock for the out. And now Gavin Sheets. In the air out towards right center. McCormick flying after this one. Can't get there and now maybe extra bases. 
He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Two hits for him in this one. Both were extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Double into the gap, and that was a really nice swing to beat the inside pitch. He just beat him to the spot. Kept his hands tight inside that baseball, and that just allowed him to drive it into the alley right there. At the play, Josh Harrison. One and two now. Stays alive. Sheets on its second with two down. Hot shot to third. Fires across the diamond. Play made. That ends the inning. Liam Hendricks out of the bullpen. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Oh, that insurance run in the bottom of the eighth inning was so good to add on, especially with this power hitter at the plate. If he goes deep, you're still up in the ball game. Really good spot to be in right here. 2-2 now. Just missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Two fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a pitch, and that's Thank ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Now, Michael Brantley steps in. Ball to strike. Pulls that one foul. Next pitch is outside. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. 2-2 two -two now. That's towards center. And there's a hit. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Here's Alex Bregman. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. And they turn the double play. Next to hit, you're down Alvarez. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Hendricks, he's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff, that results in a ton of... Got him! And that's the ball game. These guys had the long ball working for them today. Four home runs had a lot to do with them coming out on top. Final score of eight to six in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long from the south side of Chicago.
time at the ball game, three hours and 46 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.